we just made it to our room on the cruise ship and it's actually pretty decently sized we've got a window which is awesome and a nice king size bed and then that is what the room looks like and we got this window so we have a nice view on the boat <laughs> we just got back to our room and look who's waiting for us is it an elephant it's an elephant i don't know if it really is or not it's whatever you want it to be all right i'm selfie arming this we are getting ready to go to dinner it's not even the fancy dinner but it looks <laughs> like it is it is fancy it is fancy now we're the is. late diners we're going at 8 15. that's what we're doing yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning guys, it is Sunday, May 7th. We have been on the boat for a full evening and it's now the next day. We have a spa appointment at 10.30. We're getting a couple's massage. I don't think Jonathan has ever had a professional massage before. I have had quite a few in my day, but it has been probably over a year or two since I've had one. Really looking forward to that because while this bed is comfortable, it's not, our bed at home, which is kind of a mix between a Tempur-Pedic and, you know, you like your normal box spring mattress. So we have kind of a special mattress at home. So it is an adjustment sleeping on this one, but it is still very comfortable for like a hotel or a cruise ship bed. So that's great, but we are getting ready to go on our spa day and get our massages. And then after that, I'm kind of all dressed in my gear here. I've just packed my bag. We're actually going to go to the Lido deck and pretty much lay out all day long, get some sun because I am so pale. I think this is the palest I've ever been. So really looking forward to that. It's gonna be a relaxing day. <laughs> Good morning guys, that is so loud. <laughs> it is Monday, May 8th. It is about 9.15 in the morning and we just arrived in Cozumel, which I thought it was Cozumel, but the comedian last night was saying Cozumel, which is how I've always said it. So if you guys know how to say tomato, that tomato. city, put it down below, because I don't know if it's Cozumel or Cozumel, but anywho, we're here. We have beginner's scuba diving lessons today, Ooh. so it's cool because we don't need the CPAP, I think is what it's called, or CPAD, I can't remember, certification. So we can just go and scuba dive. So that's what we're doing. I am bringing my phone. I'm not bringing this camera because I don't want to lose it. Don't want any water damage. So the footage for today may not be as clear, but I just don't want to risk losing my camera. So I will be bringing my phone and taking you guys along with us. Obviously I can't take you underwater. <laughs> but I'll get as much of it as I can. And we are about to head out now. Something bit me in the face. Not 
a fan of Cozumel so far, but hopefully the salt water will make this feel better. Because I have a big pimple here. I have a bug bite here. I'm infected. It's all ruined. It's all ruined. We just got back from scuba diving and we are so tired. It was so much fun. But Jonathan's in the shower right now. I just took a shower to get all of the salt water out of my hair. And it's about 3 o'clock. We're actually going to take a little nap because we want to be able to stay up tonight. And yesterday when I took a nap, I was like ready to go. But Jonathan did not take a nap when I did. And he was really tired last night. So that's the plan right now after he showers. We're going to take a nap. We've ordered water bottles to the room because I'm so dehydrated. But scuba diving was awesome. It was my second time going. And it was his first time going. And I know he absolutely loved it. It was really, really cool. So if you are going on a cruise and you're stopping off at either Cozumel or Progresso, make sure you do the beginner scuba dive. And I figured out it's a PADI certification, not CPAP. I don't know where I got CPAP from. I think that might be a work thing, but it's a PADI certification. And for the beginner scuba dive, you do not need your PADI certification. So it was awesome. Good morning, guys. It is about 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday, May 9th. We are supposed to be at Progresso by 10 a.m., but someone on our boat reported seeing someone in the water, like man overboard. So I've kind of been looking out the window to see if I see someone. So that's really scary. I hope the guests that reported it, I'm hoping it was like just a dolphin and not a person because that's, again, that's really scary. That is terrifying because we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. We really are not that close to shore right now. But anyways, hoping that if there is a person out there that we find them uh, or hoping that it's not a person and it's a dolphin or something. But we had a really good night last night. We played blackjack and we were both up quite a bit. You were up $200 and I was up over 100 So we had a really good night. We're planning on playing again this evening and we did really well the night before as well. So we're just doing really good all in all. We have a beach buggy Mayan ruin um, tour excursion today so they haven't really announced what's going on but we're stopped again so I think we're still looking for either the phantom person or the real person out there are back in the hotel room right now actually Jonathan's already gone I had to take some time to get ready because of all the salt in my hair from that beach buggy ride but he's actually upstairs on level 5 in the promenade in the casino doing a blackjack tournament so um, like I said we both been doing really well in blackjack so he's up there right now I'm going to go check it out see how it's going I think I'm too late to join but later on tonight i would like to play some blackjack and see if i can keep this lucky streak going but overall the beach buggy and mine runes tour was amazing it was so much fun we had beautiful weather you can tell i'm definitely red so i'm trying to keep the sunscreen on luckily i brought a different moisturizer like a foundation for my face because the one that i normally use is now way too pale so that was interesting trying to mix a couple of different foundations to get what color my skin is now but it's nice to be tan again and yeah today was just really really awesome that's our last day of excursion so we have tonight and all day tomorrow tomorrow's just a day at sea and then we'll be back at the port of galveston at eight or nine o'clock in the morning on thursday so 
I'm sad it's already coming to an end, but it's been a wonderful experience so far, and we're just gonna keep the good times rolling. Hey guys, it is Thursday, May 11th. Jonathan and I are back home now, and I just got done working out, which is pretty impressive since we didn't get a lot of sleep last night and you know had to wake up at eight o'clock so we could get off the ship but the whole debarkation and unloading process was fairly simple it didn't take that long our group didn't debark until 10 or 10 30 if i remember correctly and you know we had to stand in the line and go through customs and all that but overall it wasn't too bad longest part was the drive home from galveston because that's about a two hour drive and we also had to pick up the dogs from PetSmart since they stayed at the Pets Hotel. So we ended up getting back here around 12.30. It's a little bit later in the afternoon now. I kind of rested a little bit and then went for just a nice light run and then went upstairs and got a quick workout in just because I am trying to get back into my routine. Luckily, since it is Thursday, I did take Friday off of work, so I have that whole day to kind of recoup, and same with Saturday and Sunday, I have a whole weekend. I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I am a little bit tired, and I just wanna read and decompress and just kind of relax my mind and just kind of reflect on the cruise and how much fun it was. It was such a great time. We are definitely going to do it again. I really hope you guys enjoyed the footage and I also hope that if you signed up for my monthly newsletter that you enjoyed the sneak peek of chapter one of Shadow Crown because that did go out two days ago on Tuesday. So I really hope you guys liked that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support me and my channel and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys. Thank you.